we start with an initial height field and an implicit construction tree representing the geology of the scene. This height field is transformed into a volumetric model by combining an implicit box and a specific implicit primitive for 2D terrains. Then, with respect to the construction geology, we apply various effects which result in an amplified terrain representation. Finally, the amplified terrain is polygonized efficiently and rendered in real time or offline. Our geology model is represented by a construction tree that for every position in space provides the hardness of the material. This construction tree combines primitives, unary operators and binary operators. Base primitives for generating such a model include noise functions and strata functions. They are combined and deformed in order to produce warps, local modification effects or faults. The actual surface of the terrain is also encoded as an implicit tree model. Primitives can be skeletal or derived from a height field or special complex skeletal sculpting primitives that use noise displacements. Operators include blending and warping. In our model, landforms are always generated in the same way. We compute feature locations based on stress and resistance factors. Then primitives are generated to produce the desired landform effect. With sea erosion, the stress is related to the action of waves on the cliff face. The final erosion energies are affected by the stress and the resistance of the rock. In this example, we showcase the creation of a cliff face with three steps of erosion. Here, we compare an original DEM from the Zion National Park with a version amplified using our technique. Extra features include overhangs, stratified erosion, and the carving of the riverbed. Casts are created using an invasion percolation algorithm. First, the selection of positions is made based on the material softness. Then a primitive is placed and new particle candidates are created. The process is then repeated. This example showcases the 3D capabilities of our model. Cast erosion has been applied and the 3D features cover more than 40% of the terrain surface. Geology sensitive invasion percolation allows us to simulate the formation of complex caves. The algorithm follows the weakest parts of the underlying strata. We generate hoodoos using a grammar-like growth process. Here we see an example of a simplified open grammar with production rules, probabilities that make use of the environment, and terminal symbols that represent different shapes. We can see here results of different kinds of hoodoos generated by our grammar-based procedural growth process. In this example, we demonstrate the authoring capabilities of our system. Three different floating islands have been authored and placed, thus forming a complex scene. We validated our model by replicating real-world examples such as this cast scene. Because our terrain contains sparse volumetric landforms, we propose an optimization of the marching cubes algorithm. We efficiently prune the grid and only query the field function around the terrain surface. Finally, we show that our model is completely editable in real time and the user is able to interactively modify the 3D structure of the terrain. At first, the user can choose between several types of geology and modify it in real time with skeletal brushes. In this example, the user first applied several steps of our coastal erosion algorithm to create overhangs and then adjusted details with a spherical brush. Towards the end, two arches were created procedurally with specific brushes.